Hello you guys. I'm doing something a little bit different over my channel today. You guys know that I usually take it vlog style when it comes to the videos that I put up on my YouTube channel. Today, and I guess moving forward, I want to experiment more with different kinds of videos. Like this feels a little different from the norm. And today I get to show you new items in my wardrobe. So like pieces that I've uh, recently received or purchased but most of them are actually PR pieces I will obviously link all the brands in the description box for you guys and talk through them with you starting with the piece that I'm wearing right now I love this so much it is a bright green kimono I've got a mirror to my side that's why I keep looking or glancing over to that side it drops all the way to the floor so it brings all the drama with it the sleeves as you can see have a little bit of drama too i like that they've got like the rouging effect at the end and there's also like lots of drama over here i for some reason have fallen in love with this bright lime green shade i've got like a bodysuit in this color uh now i can't remember what else i've got but this like speaks to me and i think it works really well on my skin tone although i do think um dark skin girls are lucky in that sense, like a lot of colors work for us. I have paired it with Palazzo pants that are by Safari, Safari by Vivo, and my bandeau top inside is my go-to, <laughs> and it is from Forever 254. My only regret is that I didn't buy multiple of these ones, because I wear them all the freaking time. It comes with this uh, string, a string? Yeah, a tie, a tie, which you can then use to tie, and you turn it into a bow or whatever you want to do. I think depending on what I'm wearing, it could either have it open, like if this were, this tank went all the way, I could potentially like split it open a little bit like this. But given that I have skin in the middle, I feel like it's weird if that shows. So I'm kind of leaving it as just a little bit of skin showing here, but I want my pants to peek through occasionally. Um, for jewelry, I have kept it simple. I've just got a gold necklace and my studs. I actually don't know if I'll change jewelry much uh, through this video. The second item is another African Yuba piece. It is these Palazzo pants. They are in such a yummy shade of orange. <laughs> they look so good. I have to say though, I have never owned a pair of pants like these before in that one leg and only one leg has a slit uh, to it. So at any given moment, I could be serving some extra leg. And actually, you can see my, my top peeking through. Let me just tuck that in. Um, I am a little bit nervous in, because the way it's cut, it almost feels like I just don't... I mean, I, I, I'm not trying to do splits on these streets, but it does feel like, at any, like I could give a lot of leg without my wanting or knowing um, and you can especially see that when you sit down and if you cross your legs over and your left goes over your right there's going to be lots of thighs I'm not mad about that though I kind of like it when um, I don't know when there's like a little bit of sexiness to an outfit I'm happy to dress very modestly and I've told you guys uh, that before but I'm also really happy to kind of show more skin than maybe necessary um, it is in a size small and it fits small on my waist like it feels like the kind of thing where if I ate a little too much I would be like I need to take it off um, it comes with another tie um, and turned it into a bow I paired it with my little cami from forever 254 this was actually in the forever 254's sleepwear section I'm, I'm gonna wear it out. Try tell me not to wear this out. Like I dare you to try tell me to just sleep in this. I actually never, I've never slept in this, but I've worn this out a million times. Um, and I just think the two colors complement each other so beautifully. I've paired this outfit with some sandals from Equeta. I actually forgot to say, but my other outfit had Equeta sandals, just a different kind of pair. I am a sandals and uh, sneakers and just flats or comfy comfy that's what i'm going for comfort kind of girl if it's like six inch heel and i'm like uh, struggling it's it's really it's not it's not my portion i also must say 
It's got a pocket. It's got one pocket. I guess this side wouldn't have one because of the open slit, but this side has a nice deep pocket and we love, we love anything that has pockets. The next item is this beautiful black shift dress that speaks to my soul. Like this is everything I look for in a dress. I love the length. I love the color. I like black. Black is a safe color. I love the structure of it, that it's quite like, this feels very um, like sharp edges and bold and edgy. Um, I love that there's lots of airflow. I love that I can also pair it with a belt and give it a different look. I love that I can wear it with sandals. There's just, mm, love it. This is from a brand called Petal and Pup. I love the name, first of all, Petal and Pup, so cute. It's an Australian brand. Um, this and a number of pieces that you will see were sent as PR. And I just, I, I'm just obsessed. I got this in a size 10. I have to say, I got everything in a size 10 and that was a mistake. I should have got size eight. I think, I, I don't, I think I may have lost a bit of weight, just a little bit because the last few things I ordered in a size 10, they were a little bit big on me. So maybe I am a size eight now, but I'm not so mad about that. Like with this dress, I, I, I you couldn't even tell. I could be several months pregnant and it still would work, you know, like so 10, eight, I'm probably even happier that it's bigger on me. In the other pieces, you can tell some items are big on me. Um, but what I was gonna say is my weight kind of fluctuates so I'm not I'm not mad at the fact that when I am now like a little bit curvier and fuller that I will fit into the other items a lot better but uh, we love this so much I paired it with like brown accessories I'm one of those people who kind of keeps it very simple when it comes to accessories I kind of go between three bags two of them are from Sandstorm and another one is um, from Oh, her name is Medi, but I don't know the name. I think she's, she calls herself Medi Baskets, I'm not sure. But it's where I go to get my kiondos, like all these kinds of things. I've got planters um, in some of them, and I just, I, I, I go between either a sandstorm bag or one of these bag, cause I, bags, rather, because I like to shove things in. Ooh, it's not focused, sorry. <laughs> um, but that's because I kind of like to shove things in my bag and not worry about changing them too often. But I'm wearing it like this. I'm pairing it like this, um, just to give you an idea of how I would style it. I've also got Equeta sandals, spoiler alert. I only wear Equeta sandals. So if I forget to mention them uh, at some point and you see me in sandals and you're like, hmm, where are those from? Probably Equeta. I mm, love this, love it. This next piece, um, also from Petal and Pup, is one of those cool girl pieces that when I saw styled on the website, I was like, that's it. I'm gonna bring it home and style it like that. I'm gonna be one of the cool girls. I tried it and it didn't work. <laughs> and I don't know if it's because I didn't have the right jeans. I'm gonna insert the picture here so that you see what I'm talking about if I can find the photo. But it just looked so like cool and I thought, oh, I want that. Brought it home, realized it's just not working for me. So I went for the thing that never fails me, which is a nice fitted pencil skirt. This is in a gorgeous burnt orange color and it's from Bloom Kenya. And I think it actually works that they're both knit wear and the colors work really well on the screen right now it doesn't necessarily translate like in person it's more of like a mint green there it has more bluish undertones in the camera i'm looking at the mirror camera not quite aligned but it, it's pretty close this is another one of those items that i think would have been perfect if they were just a size smaller like a size eight would have been like ah oh, perfection but it's okay it still works it comes as a pair, so the tank, which I will show you, comes with the cardigan. I struggled with what to do with the cardigan because it doesn't fit quite right. I'll actually wear it so that you can see. Um, it doesn't fit, it fits a little bit big. I mean, I still could rock this, and I feel like this, you know how I always make fun of myself for having grandma vibes when it comes to my style? Like I'm very classic, simple styled. <laughs> I feel like this really takes it strong into the grandma territory and I'm not sure, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Um, and again, it might be because of the sizing not being quite right, it's quite big, but I did find that um, draped over the shoulders, it just gave it a more chic 
vibe. I also have to say I really like this square neckline. I don't really have any pieces that have this square neckline and I've been dying for something that spoke to that design. And so if I was to pair this outside, I probably would wear it like so with this draped over my shoulders. Once again, I've paired it with sandals, but you can always wear it with heels. I just know myself. There's nowhere I'm going that I'm willingly wearing heels unless they're another pair that my best friend gifted me and bless her because they are so comfortable. Another thing I wanted to share with you guys is that uh, I think I mentioned the brand is from Australia, but they do ship from America and I shipped it in this package uh, from uh, via Sabo store rather. I shipped the package in via Sabo store. It got here in about uh, two weeks, which is great because I've got other pieces in the past that took longer and I wasn't sure how long this would take but it was like nice and easy but I love it I feel like I could be a cool teacher a librarian oh I know I know that you can tell that this sweater has all the vibes I love it I love it I love love this cardigan so much it feels how it looks like the fluffiness that you're getting from this video right now. I hope you can actually get the fluffiness, but that, it feels like it. It's so yummy. It's not super thick, so, I mean, but it's warm, it's warm. Like, even now, given how cold it is, it's definitely warmer than what I was wearing, like, draped over my shoulders just then. Um, but it's, it's, I love it. I love the color. I love the drama of the sleeves. It comes with pockets, and I, will say though, I think that's the thing that I'm unsure about, the fact that the pockets can be seen on the inside, like if it flaps open, you can see the white. I wish they just matched the fabric on the outside so that it's just less in your face. It does come with a belt of its own, so I'm just gonna belt this up for myself and make sure my hair is not locked in there. And I love that you can, I should just pause the video here and like curl up into a ball. I have no words. You guys, you know, this is the cardigan of dreams. Petal and Pop, you killed it with this beauty. I love it. I will say that they did reach out to me like a couple months ago and then there was an issue with the delivery. And I remember the one that I'd selected was much longer than this, if I remember correctly. Like it was maybe floor length or so. I think that would have been like next level. But um, this is a good second. And, and actually, I'm not sure. I think, I think the length of this would work even better with more items than if it was floor length. Maybe I'm just making that up <laughs> to try and convince myself that this is a better pick. I don't know. But I just wanted to put that out there. If I do find the longer version, I will link it down below as well. Oh, and before I forget, my dress is from Zoya, which was formerly Zetu. It's on Shop Zetu. I think it's still on there. And I think it comes in different colors. It's just like a um, single strap bodycon that goes all the way almost to your ankles but it's it's just like past mid cough i think this length is so sexy um and it's kind of like pfft, stop someone take me on a date i can't i can't with myself i mean i feel like this dress does all the talking for itself i Oh, I see myself wearing this in Lamu for dinner in Italy for the first time ever in Paris. It's just so romantic. Well, again, someone take me on a date because I am ready or on a yacht in Dubai. It feels to me bridal too, like it's got very sleek classic like sophisticated vibes you can if you want you can wear the straps up here and play with um the square neckline yet again which i'm also a fan of but i chose to just have it like so let me see is that it oh, even if it falls a little bit on one side cares this is one of those items though that i was happy i bought in a size 10 because a size 8 feels like it would have been quite snug so thankfully 10 with my curves works a little bit better on this dress uh, than a size 8 would 
Also, can we just thank the heavens that Mondi gifted me these shoes because they go with everything and I'm just sad that they don't have different shades or she didn't gift me different shades, hun. Like if you had gifted me a black one and a darker brown one, an olive green one, that would have been ideal. It's okay, oh, no, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. But like, it's so perfect. I want them in every color. This is one of those items that I think would have been so perfect if it was just a size smaller it would just fit a little bit better but, but i love it i love it so much i love how romantic it is and it's just very girly like i feel like i should be on a beach somewhere just enjoying a cocktail even though i don't really enjoy cocktails but i should have a cocktail in my hand um i've paired it with my mustard pants from lc waikiki i've had these for a few years i don't know if i would actually wear a bra with it but i am currently wearing a bra although i do need like a better bra or the way it's sat i don't know if it's the top or the bra i'm not sure but trust me it would things would be a lot lower if i didn't have what little support i'm getting from my strapless bra right now the top actually comes with these really long ties at the side which you can tie into a bow either at the back or at the front but i'm going to go with it at the back i do love that it comes up um at the front and into this like v shape upside down v shape here i just think it i don't know it just looks so much cooler when you see a little bit more skin i almost feel like it would look so nice if it was paired with something that kind of went into a v at the bottom just not too far down because i don't I, I have a thing about not showing my belly button like if, if we can avoid it i will i will attempt to avoid showing my belly button unless i'm in a bikini in which case whatever but generally if i'm showing any kind of skin here i want my belly button covered um, but if it just had a little V, I think the contrast would be really nice. But this is a nice cute top that I thought would be great for a multitude of occasions. For as long as I can remember, I have been partial to a good chunky knit. So when I saw this on the Petal and Pop website, I had to get my hands on it. <laughs> it's so pretty. I just, I, I, it, it's so simple. It, it's the kind of thing that you wear and tuck into jeans. That's how I like to wear my knits. I'll always have a little bit tucked at the front and then leave the back to kind of just be as it is. Um, I'm a jeans kind of girl, so if I can find things that I can easily pair with jeans, the better. And since it's been really gray and cold for God knows how long, how many months now in Nairobi, I knew I needed to add some knits or chunky kind of jumpers to my petal and pup order. What I didn't know was that um, they would send two. So I feel like the first time I placed, because I did mention it to you guys, I placed two orders the first time something happened to it and so I had to place another order. And I feel like in my first order, I must have had this one. But when I went back to the site, it had sold out. So I chose the blue one. Um, and I guess they sent both. So now <laughs> I've got two. Um, I don't mind. I will wear them equally as happily and frequently because it's cold and I like to be comfortable, but also um, warm. And this is the kind of thing that you can easily throw on. Like if you're having a work day at home, if you're doing like school pickups, if you're running errands, whatever it is. I've tucked it into a pair of jeans that were actually a gift from my friend Patty. They are from Red. And I've got another pair of blue jeans from Red that I really love actually. Uh, but these are a little different in that one, they are gray and that and then two, they are low rise. And I don't have many low rise jeans. I, actually, I don't have any. This is the only one I have. And so I feel most comfortable if I've got something that definitely hits the back uh, or rather covers the back, even though the jeans still come like and right into, not right into, do they right into? They come, they come and fall flat on your bum, which is my biggest um, pet peeve when jeans kind of flare up at the, at the at the top here and so you have to wear them with a belt i can't i can't stand that but these fit like well around the, the front and also the back as you can see oh and then i also want to talk about the length of the sleeve it's not my ideal but i do think this is the style because it doesn't quite cinch at the wrist it's got like a bit of a gape so i think it's supposed to be like this it's not it's not, I don't get, like I just, if, if it was like here and then cinched it, it would be like perfect. But it's okay because most of the time I'd probably wear it scrunched up at the top anyway. 
I clearly have a thing for this color, ha, huh? because, and you haven't even seen, there's one more uh, item that kind of matches this color. I just think this like burnt orange, earthy, brown tone is so yummy, it's so rich. Um, this is a petal and pop piece, but I think the real winner here is this gorgeous Safari by Vivo skirt. Ah, oh, yo. First of all, animal print, classic, neutral. We're never gonna get tired of an animal print. And especially when it's oh, this rich, it's so yummy. I also really love that the skirt kind of has an asymmetrical uh, appeal to it. So the tie comes to the side, but also forces the skirt to kind of go down that way. You guys can see what I'm talking about, right? I think that is just stunning. I love it, I love it so much. And I think, I'm not entirely sure that the two go well together although i think no i think they do i think they i think i would wear these two together um it's just that because the skirt goes down this way and then the top has this like upside down v shape i do wonder if it's maybe too much and your eyes like there's no balance but there could also be an appeal to the fact that there is no balance but i just uh, i love this skirt so much it's got a slit that doesn't go too high so you don't have to worry about like flashing everybody the fabric is just it, it really does feel like animal skin it's obviously not it's obviously not um, but it just feels really luxe I think this is another one of the petal and pop tops that could have worked better if it was a size 8 and not a 10 but I will 100% still make it work I love that we've got dramatic sleeves they're a little bit tapered at the front but not too much um, but this is just a yummy safari chic dinner look if you ask me in the last couple of months i've had the privilege of going to a couple of um safari themed uh trips so this would have been yummy uh, and actually i did have this skirt what am i saying i did have this skirt but i i wasn't sure about the pairing and what to pair it with but i do feel like this together i need to go on another safari because i want to take photos i want to take photos next to like a leopard that won't hurt me. This is such a classic silhouette. I think I've seen multiple dresses with this kind of design, which is, well, a delicate neckline, but also very uh, oversized at the top and then really fitted at the bottom. This is, a, this is a dress, just to be clear. I've seen several brands do this. Have I seen knitwear? I'm sure I've seen knitwear. I love the color. It's a little bit different from the top that I just showed you. I thought it, would, it was like the exact same tone, but it's still like a rich, deep brown um it's got a slit on the side and also this is a kind of, oh, on both sides actually both sides and also i just want to say this is the kind of thing that i would absolutely pair with sandals i don't know if it's the fact that it's knitwear or if it's the length of it or the fact that it's got slits i know typically this is what you'd imagine in like a beautiful pair of black strappy sandals but for me this is exactly what i would pair with sandals and my sandstorm bag that you've seen me carry multiple times. Um, it's got this uh, string at the back that kind of holds the sides together so that it doesn't fall off too much, which means this is something that you could easily wear to work too, depending on where you work. So like you could bring it in even more if you wanted to. I just kind of stretched it out. Ooh, you can see the little tags peeking through there. I think they're gone, um, but I would like drag it out even further um possibly i have a dinner this evening with a friend of mine and i just might wear this because it's warm enough but oh, maybe not this one i think i might wear the green dress actually i'm not sure i'll show you the green dress in just a bit but this is it the sleeves actually come down to your wrist but i wouldn't wear it like this i would most definitely bring it up like so just so that it looks a little bit more relaxed. The final item from Petal and Puck, which I uh, love so much, but I'm gutted that I didn't buy a size eight, is this green number. This is actually one of the items where the first time I ordered it, I ordered it in a beautiful pink floral uh, pattern, but that sold out when I went to order things the second time around. And I was really torn, like, do I want to, go for something pink or colorful or just leave the dress all together but i just love the cuts in this dress so much and i love that you've got a bare back that i 
I went for green, I went for green. And it's a color that I think works beautifully on my skin tone. On the mirror, I feel like it looks even prettier on my skin tone than in the camera. So just believe me, it's real pretty. I have boob taped my boobies. Uh, just to make sure they are sitting right because you can't really wear a bra with this. And just for the record, you are like nothing's gonna, nothing's gonna move. I did struggle a bit with this part of the dress, just wondering what do I do with this? Like, is it, am I supposed to stretch it down? I don't think so because now it doesn't quite hit me at my waist. Like, what do I, do I stretch it down? Maybe, actually I might just, it might just call for it being stretched down, although it would be ideal if it hit me at the waist and my waist is just like about an inch, just a, just a little bit higher, because I'm only five foot three. I love the length on this number. I'm partial to a midi dress. I think by now you guys know I love a good midi. I have to say though, it reminds me a lot of a dress that I saw on Hikaya. I haven't seen it there in a while, but if it's still there, I could also link it just in case you wanna try that. They did have it in this oatmeal color and I loved that color so much and I remember trying to go buy it, but it was out of stock. Might also, might still be out of stock, I'm not sure. Um, but if not, there is another Hikaya piece uh, and this one is part of the Hali X Hekaya collection. It's shorter, it's got sleeves, but it does have the cutouts on the side if that's something that you're into. Although now that I think about it, I think that could also be sold out. In which case, you've got Petal and Pup. But I really like this and I can't wait to go on a picnic with this dress. I actually got, if you watched, uh, was it last week's vlog? I don't know when, but the vlog where I was opening PR, you guys would have seen the vintage picnics PR uh, uh, picnic box. Imagine this sprawled down and like the black and white checkered print and I'm just like biting on my little charcuterie board situation. Ugh, love it. Especially when the sun's out and like I can get my back all out. I have to say, Petal and Pop, they've got like some really beautiful items that re speak deeply <laughs> to my soul. Like that's my vibe. That's, this is my vibe. This is my vibe. I think I might actually wear this to dinner tonight. Quick disclaimer, I'm wearing a red bra inside and I could have changed, but also I've just changed so much that I, I, I couldn't be bothered changing my bra. So forget that you can see through my top. My top isn't even the thing I wanted to show you anyway. Um, although I will say it's from Forever 254 and I freaking love it. It's the skirt. You guys, it has been years since I got my hands on a maxi wrap skirt. I used to wear a number of them in high school and so this feels like a major throwback for me. Well, like occasionally I would, maybe not too often, but I, it's been decades, at least one decade since I wore a maxi wrap skirt. And this specifically reminds me of the Handmaid's Tale, ha Handmaid's Tale, Handmaid's, Handmaid's Tales, the show that I think we all know about. And I just, and that's why I paired it with something that was also quite modest at the top and like oversized a little bit. And I don't know, I feel like I should become, I don't, I just feel, I feel a lot like I should be in that show. But my skirt is from Safari by Vivo. It is magnificent. I also have to say it's free size. So you just need to wrap it around. It's got a hole that you can put the um, tie through and I eventually wrapped it to my side. It's so, different from what I normally would go for because I'd want to show maybe a little bit of ankle or maybe have it um, uh, more body hugging so that my curves are on display. But at the same time, it's so me. I, I, I love it. This next item is something that I would lounge around the house in, go run errands in. It's just another cozy, um, jumper that you can throw on without thinking too much about. You guys know that I have a soft spot for animal print, so I loved that detail. This is from Kulola Finds. My tights are a gift from a friend um, who gave me a few of her tights because they didn't fit her anymore, or her leggings rather. Um, and yeah, it's just a simple jumper that you throw on. What I do want to say, guys, is how nice is it that like, oh, I'm just so happy that my studs and 
do I have? Yeah, I've got two here and like my simple gold necklace just seems to go seamlessly with everything. It's not too much. So even if I'm staying at home, I still feel like I've made an effort even though I haven't really, like I've just, I've barely changed. Um, at least my jewelry that is. But yeah, so this is, this is something like I foresee myself at the end of the day, taking off my makeup, putting this on because it feels really soft actually. Um, and not soft as in fluffy, but just the fabric is really soft. Uh, putting this on and getting on the couch and watching something on Netflix or Showmax. Not gonna lie, I'm at the stage of this uh, try on haul where I'm just like, I, I can't be bothered. <laughs> I just have been at this for so long. I didn't, I thought it would take like 20, 30 minutes to film. I think it's, I, I don't even wanna say how long it's been, but um, what you're gonna see is something that I don't know if I'd actually pair it like this, at least not with these tights, because these tights have a big Gymshark logo at the back, and I I wouldn't I wouldn't pair it like this, not with that logo at the back. But I do want to show you my top. This was something that my best friend gifted me. Also, I'm just really lucky. Modi is just such a gem, but she just uh, decided to give me this top, and. I'm not surprised because it's really my jam, it's really my style. I have just paired it with, once again, the little bralette that I got from Forever 254. And it's actually something that I wore for a live that I hosted about a week or so ago, depending on when this video goes up. And I love it. I would also pair it with uh, like a sexy bra type thing and then like a fitted pencil skirt. That's really what I would have, if I, if it's just I, to try and to try and get the bra on that I would have envisioned with this, would have taken like multiple buckles to, it's too much, it's too much. But that was, that's the vision. That's one of the ways I would wear it. Or I'd also just pair it like this, pair it with jeans, uh, pair it with a, a simple pencil skirt, pair it with shorts if you're at the coast and you're going for dinner. Um, ooh, black shorts with this, with this would look so nice. And especially if they're a little bit wide leg. Uh, oh, that would look so nice, so chic. But yeah, I had to shout out this number because I really, really like it. I do have another top that's quite similar to this um, that I got from Mr. Price, but this is definitely a much better version of what I already own. This next item I wanted to highlight is this belt. I'm sure you've seen these around because I definitely have. I know Patricia has worn one. I've seen Joy in one. I've seen Fatma styling one. At first, I wasn't really sure because I, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't pair this with a really sexy dress. I don't think so. I don't think I would. And so, like, I was like, what do, what would I envision myself in? Um, and the thing that came to mind was like a very equestrian type look. Like imagine if I'm going horse riding, which I never do, but if I was to conjure up that girl, like that harness, like cowboy s type thing, like I want to be on a horse, that's what I was trying to put together when I put this look. Um, I don't think this is the ideal shirt. I don't have a lot of white shirts, which is crazy because a white shirt is a staple. But I do have this one. I think I got this from Target. I'm still wearing the same leggings that are the Gymshark ones at the bottom. Uh, the belt, which is the star of this look, is from Heels and Buckles, I believe. I'll link them down below, as I will every brand I've worn and <laughs> mentioned. Uh, but I. I think I like it. I do remember seeing <clears throat> a girl at Ancole wearing this and I was so struck by how just amazing she looked. I stopped her to be like, you are freaking amazing. You look stunning. Like you have killed it today. I look at it and I'm like, oh, this is it. This looks really cool. Like, and especially if I look in the mirror, I'm like, I just need some really nice boots uh, in this tan leather color. That's really what I'm looking to invest in next. Uh, some really high quality boots that will last me years and years in tan leather that go right above, uh, right below the knee, that hit me right below the knee actually. Ah, oh, that's what I'm on the hunt for. Last, but definitely not least, is this number that says, I need your attention. Like, the sleeves, I, like could there be anything more dramatic? I don't know. I don't know if it actually looks that dramatic on screen, but in person I'm just like, Goof! that's like a lot. And I think because the fabric is the kind that like is like has c 
can maintain structure like it's the kind that you have on a shirt I don't know what kind of fabric that is but it's not like soft and floppy so it just looks even like more exaggerated like whenever you do certain things it just looks like all the drama in the world is on your sleeves right now I love the laser cut neckline like this like perforated the fact that you can kind of see my skin it is as you can tell quite short and I've chosen to belt it although you can also just wear it without a belt but I like how it looks with the belt I got this from platform I did notice that their prices have changed drastically I bought this this item um, and I remember they would have like these crazy sales where things were just like 70% off constantly it just seemed like you could always get a really good deal this wasn't as inexpensive as I'd have expected it to be given previous price points uh, from that store I just really like it and I feel like if I was ever doing any live uh, events uh, where I just need to kind of show maybe the top half of my face then this is the kind of thing that would bring all the drama and I think it's a beautiful way to end this video with the drama thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it please let me know um you can either give it a thumbs up but you could also leave a comment down below like what would you like to see is this something that you're into i am trying different things on my channel right now and that's why you're having this kind of video which isn't something that i normally would do but I, I want I want to just explore. I want to explore and I want to know what you think. So I would love your feedback uh, if you could just drop it in the comments below. I will obviously link as many things as I possibly can find online in the description box. Thanks for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.